Okay, we're going to solve problem 225 from the book, uh, graphically and then algebraically. Uh, we have a car slowing down from a known initial speed. Uh, it's going to stop in uh, six seconds, and we want to know how far it traveled. So since we want to know its displacement, we're going to find the area under its velocity graph. So it started with a known initial speed of 21 meters per second. It's, and if it's Kappam, it's going to slow down linearly. Okay, it's going to go until it hits a VF of zero. That delta T is uh, known, six seconds. The delta X, however, is not known. All right, the acceleration, the slope of that graph is not known either. Um, Okay, so since we're trying to find this area, we're trying to find the area of this triangle. So that's going to be one half times the height of it here, which is really just vi times delta t. All right, so if we calculate that, we have one half times our vi of 21 meters per second and our delta t of 6 seconds which gives us a displacement of 63 meters. Okay, algebraically what this looks like is if we have positive to the right we have a vi 21 meters per second to the right slowing to a stop. There's a displacement that is unknown at the beginning of the problem. There's delta t that's known. The acceleration is unknown, but we know that it's negative because we're slowing down, so it must be opposing the velocity, which was positive. So the negative, uh, the slowing down doesn't tell us that it's negative, but the slowing down in combination with the positive velocity tells us that it's negative. And the model that we want here is the one derived from the average velocity expression one half vi plus vf delta t vf is zero so this ends us up one half vi delta t which we decided was 63 meters